Hello, my name is Jeff, and this is a Dynan Supercharged 1996 BMW M3. Dynan is a name synonymous with BMW performance, and in case you're not familiar, Dynan is a BMW tuner located in California, which have been around since 1979, and in 2001, they equipped this E36 M3 with their carb legal supercharger kit. Now, this car also features a five-speed manual transmission and comes finished in and techno violet metallic. You can win this supercharged M3 as it is up for auction on Sotheby's Motorsport along with four other iconic German cars, all Autobahn legends. These cars are now live on Sotheby'sMotorsport.com, but don't wait as the auctions close December 5th. So moving on to the exterior of this E36 M3, this particular car is the highly desirable two-door coupe, which for the E36 is technically a two plus two model, meaning it seats two in the front and two in the back, even though it only has two doors. So it's a fairly practical car. On top of that, this car is finished in the highly desirable techno violet metallic, which is a color that was only offered on the later facelifted E36 M3s like this one, which is a very cool detail. It's the this deep, dark purple metallic paint that really shines in the sun. On top of that, this particular car has a very cool stance. They did not look this good from the factory. And that's in part thanks to the fact that this car is currently riding on BC Racing coilovers, which are in fact adjustable to really tune in that ride height and make the wheel fitment just perfect. This is also an M car, which means it has a variety of exterior modifications to make it more performance oriented and underneath. For example, as we start at the front of the car here, you might have noticed in addition to the black trim, which is a BMW staple, we do in fact have this very sharp black splitter that runs around the car and looks very aggressive. Iconic quad headlights, of course, the BMW grille and badges, all very iconic on this car with these very cool contrasting amber turn signals. Coming down to the side of the car here, we have these five spoke BMW M wheels, which measure 17 inches in diameter. In the front here, we have 225 45s. And of course we have disc brakes all around in addition to fully independent suspension because this is a sports car. And as you might've noticed here, we have incredible fitment as well. Moving down the side of the car, more of that beautiful black trim, amber side markers, M3 badging, and power adjustable speed mirrors that have a very aerodynamic shape to them and look quite sharp on the car. On top here, we do in fact have have a sunroof, which always helps as far as luxuries go. Moving down the side of the car, we have a rear window that can actually be vented outwards as needed for additional ventilation. Moving to the back, more of our five spoke wheels, which here are actually staggered. So we have a wider fitment in the back. They're still 17 inches in diameter, but now we have a 245 40 tire to help put that power down. Moving to the back of the car here, we have some very cool details. If you're familiar with Dynan, again, a BMW tuner, part of the magic that comes with these performance kits is telling people about it. And the way you do that is with a Dynan badge in the back. This was something that was, of course, installed when this car was equipped with the Dynan Supercharger Kit in 2001. And it lets everybody know that you've got some serious performance under the hood. And if you get to take a closer look at this car, it even has the Dynan exhaust system down below. And this is branded Dynan, and of course, this is part of that whole system to make as much power as possible from that Dynan supercharger kit. But there's some other cool details I want to show you because even though this is, in fact, a two door sports car, if we go ahead and pop the trunk here and open it up, you can see that this trunk opens quite wide. And the benefit of that is you have plenty of room to squeeze whatever luggage you need to in the back. And there is a surprising amount of space in this for a two door sports car, which means this is also something you can use in a touring use case and take it to the twisties as you want. But even cooler than that, you can fold down the rear seats and you get even more storage capabilities, which includes things like skiing, very popular for German cars. We'll go ahead and close that up. And that is a quick look at the exterior of this E36 M3. Under the hood is now a Dynan supercharged straight six. The E36 M3 was actually the first M3 to receive a straight six, and it was naturally aspirated from the factory, rated for around 240 horsepower in 1996. While we don't have an exact measurement for the current output, it's believed the Dynan Supercharger adds about 100 horsepower or so, putting the total output over 300 horsepower, which will certainly improve performance. The supercharged straight six is paired with a five-speed manual transmission, sending power to the rear wheels. 
Some interesting details include the Dynan branded supercharger kit, making use of a Vortex supercharger, but also note all of the stickers corresponding with the kit, including the carb information, something which makes this a highly desirable performance modification. This car is also equipped with a full Dynan exhaust, and it sounds great too. Take a listen. Moving on to the interior, we go ahead and open it up. This particular car features a black leather interior, but features a variety of cool updates as well. Note the very cool M3 badging here in the door sill, the carpets, and we even have Vader manual seats. So these are manually adjustable. They actually have the M Sport colors on them as well. But my favorite feature is all of this very hefty side bolstering that we'll find on the side of the vehicle. And you even get leg bolstering, which will help hold you in place during sporty driving. The other really cool detail in the interior is actually this Ital Volante Formel Super steering wheel, which makes for a very cool detail in addition to the rest of the car. And this thing is in great condition. You can see just the finish on everything in addition to the black Alcantara headliner. Just look at this thing too with our sunroof in there, the parcel shelf in the back. And if we actually move this seat forward, you can see the back seats. As I mentioned earlier, this car is in fact a two plus two. These seats are in great condition with seat belts for rear passengers. That also helps to work as rear storage for anything that you can't fit in the trunk. But of course, these can be folded forward as well for fitting things like ski gear. Moving the seat back forward, let's look at the rest of the interior here. We do have the door cards, which have their own storage shelves and various displays. The adjustment controls here for our power mirrors, the speakers. And as we climb into our three pedal manual car here, we can see the shifter for our five speed manual transmission. Quite nice. Now, once you get in, the first impression you get is that this is an analog driver focused car. Obviously, there's not a lot of screens in your face. Everything in here, as far as the instrumentation, is actually slightly angled towards the driver to make it that much easier to use. Of course, all of these vents here for our climate control systems, headlight controls on the left side, our nice steering wheel. We do have cruise control as well. Over here in the center, we have a lot of our infotainment and climate controls up here at the top. Moving down, we have some more buttons and adjustments, including heated seats. We do have hi-fi, traction control, and then below that, we actually have the lock and unlock functions in addition to our power window. So obviously driver and passenger side, hazards, a place to hold your keys for going through those toll roads. We do have cup holder storage, an armrest, and even a real parking brake. Over on the passenger side here, we do in fact have a glove box, similar door cards, and of course, more of those Vader seats to hold you in place. And up high, pretty straightforward with a rear view mirror and some additional interior lighting with our sunroof controls. Pretty simple, but very analog and driver focused, which is perfect for an enthusiast car like this. So what's it like to drive a Dynan supercharged E36 M3? Well, it's a lot of fun. As it turns out, those guys at Dynan know what they're doing. I mean, they've been doing it since 1979, and this car has a lot more power thanks to that Dynan supercharged kit, which is also carb legal, meaning it's legal in places like California and has the stickers under the engine to prove it. The steering on this car is so direct. It feels so good to drive, not to mention the shifter and the manual transmission, it sort of has like this click into place feeling on it. It's a really, really nice car to drive. You get a lot of emotions with this, but at the same time, the car is so simple on the interior because it comes from an era of an analog driver focused car. So this really is a special experience with parts that you can't even buy new anymore in the form of that Dynan supercharger kit. Sure, they still offer some performance parts, but not this supercharger kit in this car, which makes this a very unique driving proposition that you just can't find today. Not to mention with the narrow A pillars that cars from the 90s and stuff have, this car is just a different level of a driver's car. And it sounds and moves the part and it's very, very fast. I can't put enough emphasis on just how quick this car is. Not to mention having the enthusiast transmission of choice. You hear 
hear the faint whine of the supercharger. And this car is just a very, very special experience to drive. So there you have it. That is a quick look at this 1996 BMW M3, now fitted with a Carb Legal supercharger kit from Dynan. You can find this car along with four others all currently up for auction from Sotheby's Motorsport as part of their Autobahn Legends event. You can bid to win these cars by heading to Sotheby'sMotorsport.com, but don't wait as the auctions close December 5th.